as soon as you provide reasons why you're right, why other people should believe you, that you're not lying or full of crap, you've lost the argument because you have appealed to reason. And that is why a defensive reason is unnecessary, perhaps even impossible or self-contradictory. Perhaps even more potently, facts and logic can often compromise our self-presentation as effective and benevolent, which social psychologists have shown to be powerful uh, motives. So the way I like to think about it is we're living in an era of rationality inequality. That at the high end, we've never been more rational. Uh, but at the low end, um, there's a lot of reason for concern. We must safeguard the truth and rationality promoting mission of universities. It's feasible because we are not living in a post-truth era and humans are not always irrational. If colleges and universities are to develop the independent and critical thinkers necessary to ensure that democracy is more than the tyranny of numbers forecast in the Game of Thrones, we must re-establish a commitment to the civic mission of higher education. While there's been a good deal of rhetoric lately regarding the principle of universal access to higher education as an essential symbol of equality and opportunity at the heart of the American dream, the reality is that many of our citizens still have closed futures and are, in a very real sense, unfree. We need to face the fierce urgency of now, recognizing that higher education and its graduates must play a leadership role in fulfilling the promise of liberal education for all. We need to do more than just use the you know, Twitter and, and other ways that are more accessible to people. We need to have colleges and universities serve as anchor institutions and demonstrate in a more palpable way the fact that their success is inextricably linked to the success of the communities in which they're located, in which they serve. As I get older, the thing I appreciate more is the seeds that were planted uh, by my university and the seeds that can be planted by people at a university to change a life forever. The students are so spiritually hungry. My students, the students at every college I go, and they want to know what is the highest and best life. And we hand them a bunch of great empty boxes a lot of the time. When you're measuring a kid's academic expertise or excellence, every, every A is a good thing, every D is a bad thing. But in moral development, it's not like that. The, the Ds are very good because they're moments of sin and opportunities for redemption. You don't learn much from your moral A's. Somehow it's gotten into the atmosphere that the way you prove you're a good person is not by showing compassion and care, but by denouncing. Hmm. Solutions will come from people like in this room who are willing to engage the deepest issues in the deepest ways. The solutions will come from the spiritual hunger, which never goes away.